welcome back to green pips fx and on today's video guys i'm basically going to be breaking down this euro jpy trade that i took yesterday um based on our customers request of course so um let's get into it right so first and foremost um i had this high time frame view um of uh, a bearish price action right so price had created um price had created this high here from this low here and then price came down to take out this low and created another low now within the retracement right you can see that price i honestly expected price to at least uh, tap this overall area of supply here but as you can see price just reversed in the middle of nowhere leaving imbalances between here right and then price started playing around in this area here creating multiple highs right which were then later on termed as what liquidity so we had buy side liquidity resting above these highs here and above those above that buy side liquidity there was a very uh, potential area of imbalance technically from this low here to um, actually these highs here right so with having all this level of um, confluence i was more confident enough to to uh, to anticipate that price was going to make a bullish price action or a bullish move uh, to this area here this overall area of area of supply and then once this mitigation was done then we could now target these sales and take out these overall lows here so that was my higher time frame bias and i sent this uh this bias out in the community a couple of months ago when prices um utterly at this level here um and this area here before that so we we had this in mind for a very long period of time so with that being my high time frame bias um let's now just uh clear some of these and then we went um you know so price just came up and mitigated our area now within this mitigation look at how price was moving right so price created a high oops a high right a low a higher high a higher low right and from there price created a higher high by breaking the structural high here and from there look at what price does right so price comes in and creates this low um, and after the creation of that low there price never manages to break this high here and instead it's only a wick um, coming above to clear um, the liquidity and then price just grizzles around and then comes out and takes out this low here so uh, so this low here was pretty much taken out at this uh, at this point here so we had this as our change of character right in the higher time frame of course so if you have this as our change of character and price has now created um, a lower low right so price comes up uh, to do this mitigation here at the overall area of supply right with this wick here and then creates a a low high right and of course we had some trades there but i'm not going to talk about them and then from there we have again another break of structure here to now uh, confirm and cement our bias that price is now overall bearish and from there uh, price now creates a lower low and all we had to do is look for an area of supply now with this being my area of supply that i was looking for price to come in mitigate and then from there go bearish targeting uh, this low here as our potential next liquidity run right and then we could you know further hold it to lower prices but uh, first and foremost this was the area um, the overall area of supply that i was looking at but of course as a day trader i can't trade um, i can't just put my my sell trade for example just like there and then my stop loss above this high here right that's a very big stop loss uh, for a day trader right so it's it's an 82 pip stop loss with a 300 pip take profit target just to make it a one to three rr and of course perhaps if i was targeting this low here then it could have been just five rr right now i don't i don't trade like that that's not how we do it at green pips fx academy so what what we did was refine this area here so now we'll go through the first phase of refinement from the four hour to the one hour and we just took this overall last bullish candle before the overall bearish move right and from there of course i also don't trade one hour zones right so i just refined this to an intraday time frame which is the 15 minute chart and coming now to the 15 minute chart this is what i found lying in here right so it's pretty hectic to pick out a last you know buy to sell right because there are multiple areas right there's this area here there's this area here there's this area here and there's this area here so there are multiple places now you need to have an an in-depth understanding of supply and demand of course to be able to do an extensive refinement like this but you know if if you have an intermediary level of understanding then 
you can just use like the one hour zone and uh, manage your risk appropriately. So what I found here was price after creating this high here. So price came down to fill this gap with this pivot here. And then bot came up again to fill another gap here, right? So we can see that there's, um, this is an area that we have both forces of supply and demand acting at the same time, right? So we have, we have a pivot closing down and we have a pivot closing up. This is the area of uh, the supply that I was looking to trade for. So this right here, that was my now overall refined area. And we can now just delete this 15 minute chart and we can also um, hide this one here and also this one here, right? We're not using this. So this is the area that I was now focused on to trade for as a day trader. So what I just did was, uh, you know, we could just pull this area here and look at what price does, right? So price comes in, uh, plays around, plays around, plays around, and then boom, right here, right? So this, this right here, this was my trade. So I just took a risk entry here. Right, because the stop losses do was uh, very tight, and um, that was my trade, guys. So I had a seventeen. No, it was just a seventeen, uh, a seventeen pip uh, stop loss. It's just point right there. It doesn't go actually to the exact point, but it's, you know it's not a problem. So I had a seventeen pip uh, stop loss with an overall. Uh, so I had this area here. Um, as my first take profit target, of course. So this was my first next liquidity run area. And after that, I had this overall low here, right, which uh, triggered the overall up move as my next, uh, as my overall or final uh, liquidity run area. So there we are. So this was the trade um, and price just goes all over there. It was 530 pip uh, take profit target to make it an overall one to 30 uh, hour trade. So this is the beauty of refinement, right? So we came from an overall four hour area or four hour zone, four hour area of supply, right? So from the four, if we if we just took our trade from the four hour, then we, we could have had at least a one to five hour, hour, right? But with that much knowledge and that much extensive refinement, of this uh of the of the of the same area of the same zone we managed to get a 1 to 30 rr area from um the same place within the same trade guys so this is the beauty of the mmc footprint strategy based on how we learn it at green pips fx academy now uh, i hope this video was very informative to you and you know if it was then don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and until the next one guys stay safe have a nice trading week and of course Peace out.